What's up people, Naira again from Phantom Production. Actually, I'm here with a tutorial for you guys. I just want to show you my process on how I mix my vocal. In this tutorial, I've just done an acapella. And this acapella, I just want to show you guys on how I do my process. So there's no beat, nothing. I just did it for the purpose of the tutorial. So in the full course, I will do a, a full mix on how I do the mix, everything with the beat. So let's listen to the vocal dry and wet so let's go e go tina lam na me be reti mam du mo e be na be re mo so ki kan nu nu ku re mo she ne ke kan wa guess you ku e me re ne ni le lord i confess my love for you you are all the right okay guys so that was the vocal without any processing being done so let me play the mix version for you guys to listen with the little wet effects that i've applied e go tina lam na me be reti mam du mo e be na be re mo so ki kan nu nu ku re mo she ne ke kan wa guess you ku e me re ne ni le Lord, I confess my love for you. You are all the right. Hand. Okay, guys, so that's it. So let me walk you through the process. So, first thing I did with the vocal was to get the vocal. So, as you can see, that's a simple gate. This is a gate from Dead Dog. So, what this gate is doing is to block the unwanted uh, room noise the homing from the CPU and any other noise. So in this case, the gate will open when the vocal is present and when the vocal is not, the gate will close. So the next thing I did was to tune the vocal. So let's listen with the tuning. Lord, I confess my love for you. Okay, let's listen to it again without the tuning. Lord, I confess my love for you. You are all the right. Hand. Okay, guys, so that's it. Now, the next effect that I applied was an EQ. In this SSL, what I just did was using the EQ section of the SSL. Let me walk you through. Now, what I was doing with this SSL was just to use the EQ section because I love it. So in the EQ section, first thing I did was a roll off in this high pass section. High pass section, I did a roll off of about 100 in that frequency, about 100. Then the next thing I did was to reduce around 500. I did a look, I did a cut there about 6 dB of gain reduction around 500 and now in the high mid frequency you can see i didn't do anything okay let's listen with the eq you know at times you do little 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 moves and at the end result you get what you want so let's go <laughs> that's with the eq so let's switch off the eq and listen to it <laughs> so now you wouldn't hear that much difference because i did just a little move there so what you can see here is if you discover with the eq you will see that it has a, a little kind of shine in it because i boosted the 8k region about 1.5 db of gain of gain there and the boxiness cut it a little bit so it's good for now actually I didn't have to do much because uh, my mic did a good job. I was pleased with what I had. So I don't really have to do much because I already have a good recording. 
So most of the time you need to do a very good recording, a good intake so that the output will be good. Let's listen to the next thing I did. So the next thing I did was to apply a compressor. So what I've done here, you still have a gentle ratio of 4 to 1. The attack is 1 millisecond, means, meaning it's kind of a little bit fast, but not that fast attack. Now, the threshold is around 1 here, meaning uh, I haven't done anything that much with the threshold. So I, I love this range of the threshold because it was good. Now, in the session of the, the release, I left it at O2. Then after this gain reduction here, due to the ratio and the compression, I had to boost the gain to balance everything from the original, from how it was sounding, because I never wanted to lose everything because, because of the compression. So now let's listen with the compressor. It goes in a lamb. Na me be rechi mam du mo. Ebe na be re mo. So ki kan nu nu kure mo. Shine ke kan wa ges yoku. I me re ine ni le. Lord, I confess my love for you. You are all the right. So when you look at the compressor, you can see that it's doing a great job there. Now, what this compressor has done, if you you swap through and see where this peak are really, the dynamics are really low, like in that in that region, you will see that the compression didn't do any, didn't compress it because it was it's low, it's low, it didn't compress. And now the makeup gain that gave us our overall loudness to regain what we, we lose during the compression. So let's just mute it and listen to it again. You are all the right. You will see how that section is really calm from the two sections. So now let's just play this loud section from here to here and let's do the comparison. Lord, I confess my love for you. You are all the right. So if you look at this region, you will see that this region, the dynamic here was really high. Here it's low. So the job of the compressor was try to tame this one and to tame it so that it will balance with this. It will, it will have the same uh, gain in, in both dynamics. So let's listen with the compressor again to see the difference. It has Lord, a, I confess my love for you. You are all the right. So with the compressor, you will see that the compressor has tried to tame it to balance the two dynamics. So you won't notice any difference from the loud section and the lowest the low section. So that's actually the job of a compressor. It tames down the dynamics where they are really high and the ones that are low, it brings it up. Let's see the next thing I did. So the next thing I did was just to use this 1176. What I did here, I didn't do much here. I just used it at default to just increase the volume. Let's listen with the CLA2, uh, the CLA76. Lord, I confess my love for you. You are all the right. Time. So without the CLA76, let's listen. Ego tinalam, na me be rich mum dumo. Wait. Ego tinalam, na me be rich mum dumo. So uh, what I did with this SSL, like I said, was just to boost the gain. So after the after that, the next thing I did was just to DS the vocal. So without the DSL, let's listen. Now with the dehesa. So when you look at the meta of the dehesa, you will see that it's really doing a great job. It's taming the S's so that it shouldn't be painful in the ear. So that was what I did. So that's just a little processing. Other thing I just did now was just to add a little wet effect on it. So I added reverb, which is a time-based effect also and delay. I didn't apply any delay for now, so that's a reverb. So let's listen with the reverb. So 
So now with the reverb, you can you can hear it's not longer dry. It is really good, pleasant in the ear, soft. So what I did with the reverb is uh, I just did a send here. I send the vocal into the reverb, and on the reverb, I increase I increase the wet, remove the dry because we are doing a scent. so we don't really need the dry. I increase the early reflection a little bit, and I did a little low cut. Now the amount of reverb you can apply on vocal it depends on when the beat is playing and the other instruments. You will know the amount of reverb that you can use. So guys, let's listen to the overall mix again. It goes in a lamb. Na me be rich mum do mo. Ebe na be re mo. So ki kan nu nu kure mo. She ne ke kan wa guess yo ku. E me re ne ni le. Lord, I confess my love for you. You are all the right. Okay, guys. Uh, that's how I mix my vocal. So at times I don't really use uh, much effect on my vocals. It depends on what comes on my mind as I am processing the vocal. So there are other times you can use phrases, you can use other form of effects, but these ones that I've used in this tutorial, uh, they are the basic effects that every producer, you must use it. You don't miss it out. So the other effects, those are additional effects to spice up the bit, like stereo enhancement, or uh, in another process, you can widen up your vocal, depending on the total overall mix of the sound you want to get. So these are the basic effects that you have to use in every vocal. Now, let's do a review, the basic that you have to use. First, you have to apply your gate. Gates are essential. and Tuning is also good. Use your auto tune. It must not be an, this auto tune from Antares. We have Meta Tune. We have other tuning VSTs are there all over. Now, the next thing you use your EQ, then your compressor. That one, you cannot miss it out. And your dehesser. So, that's it, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell so that we can grow our community together. And also, you hit the bell whenever I drop a video or uh, you get to be notified. So that's it guys. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.